NASA's new robotic spacecraft is on its way to Mars in a mission to search for evidence of ancient life. It will take almost seven months to travel more than 300 million miles to the red planet. The robot is called Perseverance, named because of the difficulties of landing on its surface. It's one of three missions currently trying to make it to Mars, as Rebecca Morell reports. Engine ignition, two, one, zero. The start of a mission. Launching the next generation of robotic explorers to the red planet. That could finally answer the big question. Was there ever life on Mars? And Atlas TU has gone to closed loop control. The rover is called Perseverance, and it's going to a region that was once covered by a lake. We now know Mars had an enormous amount of water in its past. If ancient life was on Mars, you know, we have a good bet that we might be able to find it in these sediments. So this is really a light detection mission. This is the most advanced Mars rover that NASA's ever built. It's about the same size and weight as a small car, and it is jam-packed with instruments. This is its robotic arm, equipped with a drill, and it will take samples of rock that could contain signs of life. There's also an instrument that will try to make oxygen from the carbon dioxide rich atmosphere, a vital technology for future astronauts on Mars. And for the first time, NASA will test a mini Mars helicopter that will try to fly in the extremely thin Martian air. It's another pair of eyes from a totally different vantage point. Just being able to get to places that we simply can't get to today, right? Really sites of steep cliffs or very steep, you know, crevasses, you know, craters, places like that, that a rover just can't rope into. I mean, we, we're going to need to fly. Another first for this mission is that the rock samples collected will be stored and eventually brought back to Earth. And some will head to the UK. Hopefully in about 10 or 15 years, we'll get those rocks back from Mars. More missions will be sent to bring them back and then we'll be actually able to study those pieces of Mars in laboratories on Earth. NASA's spacecraft is the last of a trio heading to the Red Planet. China and the United Arab Emirates are already on their way. If they all succeed, it will mean a giant leap in our understanding of Mars. Rebecca Morrell, BBC News.